Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com. And in this video, we're going to take a look at some of the stocks that were in play today. Okay, so first up is CAPR. Congrats to everyone that caught yesterday's alert and everyone that watched yesterday's video. Huge winner today, closed up 70%, was up much higher than that during the trading day. As you can see, it hit 265 intraday. Um, it did close very frothy on RSI. You can see it's over here at 87. Now, this is the uh, chart from yesterday, and the annotations have not been updated, um, to, just to let you know. Uh, if you could see, See here what happened on Fasto is it had a pullback after being at overbought levels. Notice how that black line crossed 80 to it dropped below 80. Now that is a sell signal. That is a signal that the chart is cooling down. If you look back here, the last time that it dropped below, um, you'll see that signal the pullback. So uh, just keep, take note of that. Uh, some traders do use a, a drop below 80 on Fasto uh, after trading above as a signal to lock in gains. Okay, and then you've got a really parabolic move on. Uh, plus di notice how vertical that is how straight the line is so straight um, you know it's unsustainable look when that happened it pulled back uh, when, when it got straight before like that it signaled a correction so so just keep in mind when uh, plus di gets super vertical it signals that the uh, move is unsustainable and that eventually uh, the stock will pull back now if you look here today uh, uh, you know the big the big move was the giant gap up open so yesterday there was a close above the 100 day simple moving average currently at 117 that's this gold line. And so that was signaling more upside potential. We were really stoked on that. Remember we talked about the tight Bollinger Bands and the break above. So that those are all those were all uh, very strong signals that there was going to be more upside today. And, and the techni technical analysis yesterday proved correct. And this did turn into be the big winner today. Notice how there's no lower wick on the candle. The first trade of the day was low of day. And, and so the, uh, the bulls were in control from the very beginning all the way till high of day. Now, now a, a gap was created today and so now there's a space between high of day yesterday and low of day today so on a pullback you could see the share price drop down to the uh, to, to the uh, bottom of the gap level so that that would be uh, right here at 134 a drop to 134 would fill the gap and notice how that is lined up with EMA 8 so uh, yeah keep that in mind if the share price does pull back and then um, to the upside there was a break above the 200 uh, day simple moving average first it broke above the uh, the top of the current channel, the, this red ascending resistance line, which was 165. It busted through that right away, and then it came all the way up to the, to the $2 level, and that's where it did find some intraday resistance, but it was able to break through, and when it did, that was a signal that, that, the, that the next target was on deck. That was 248. Uh, congrats to everyone that was in our chat. Uh, we discussed this trade, and uh, it worked out very well, so congrats out there. Good job, you guys. Way to trade. You did an excellent job um, that that trade between the 200 and and 300 uh, worked out perfectly and then uh, yeah when once it broke above the 300 day simple moving average it did pull back look at the long upper wick that formed on today's candle that was from the profit taking and so uh, to go forward uh, moving forward in order for CAPR to um, to advance it needs to break above the 300 day simple moving average fail to close above that blue line signals downside risk and then to the downside it needs to hold the 200 day simple moving average at two if you see two break then you can see the candles work back into the bands the the upper Bollinger bands way down here at 165 and so in EMA 4 is down here at 158 those are the first support levels below the 200 day simple moving average so it's very important that two holds a big downside risk of two breaks to the upside if you see a break above the 300 day simple moving average our next target is the top of the gap and that that is is just below three dollars uh, right here as you can see there's a gap back here in May and so the uh, th this has been trying to fill the gap and so when the uh, three hits, that'll be the gap fill besides the space that's down here. So yeah, so uh, yeah, so CAPR played out really well. There was a giant volume spike today with the pullback from high of day. This does look like a climax spike. Um, if you look at the CAPR 15-minute uh, chart, you'll see this is a chart that we are working on today um, in the chat, and, <coughs> and the. the chart shows the classic uh, setup here. Notice that there were the tight Bollinger Bands back here on the 17th leading into the 18th. And then on the first candle of the day on the 18th, there was a break above all the moving averages and the candle started writing EMA4 support higher. That was your signal that it was in play. <coughs> if you missed that, the big volume spike at 1045 and this big push was a signal that, that CAPR was was uh, was in play as well. And, and so that, that was confirming this earlier move on light volume. 
And so the, the middle Bollinger Band held, and the candles continue riding EMAs 4 and 8 support higher. And then if you notice into the close, it did close above the EMAs 4 and 8 and the middle Bollinger Band. If there is a drop below the middle Bollinger Band at 212, that will signal downside risk. And you can see a drop all the way down to the 50 simple moving average at 164. So, so uh, yeah, to the upside, it needs to break above the high close resistance level, which is 250. So 250 is the big resistance level to break to the upside. And then you've got... Uh, um, to uh, 12 is the 210, 212 levels, the big uh, level to hold uh, to the downside. And because if it breaks, uh, there, there could be a big drop down to that 50 uh, day simple moving average or 50 simple moving average at 164. And if you look on this chart where, uh, you know, 164, you're looking at a drop down to the uh, to the EMA four on the, the daily chart. So, yeah, so really nice move for CAPR. It needs to hold this middle Bollinger Band to keep the good times going a close below would be a, a couple of red flags. There was the uh, PSAR uh, bear flip. There was the uh, close below EMA's four and eight support. They had been holding during the run. And then uh, th there was the uh, uh, bearish crossover on MACD on both time frames. So, so those are all signals that the chart is cooling down. Okay, let's look at WAC. A uh, really nice move today. Closed up 40%. I want to show you this chart. This is the last uh, WAC chart that we posted. Uh, this was on the last run. Uh, you, you know, it made a good move. It confirmed a reversal pattern. Then it hit re resistance. So uh, today, you know, you've got RSI back in the 50 to 70 bull zone. Uh, Fasto closed at 100 um, the, the key on this chart, these annotations are from the, uh, the from the last time uh, from this chart was posted on this big break above the middle Bollinger Band. Um, the uh, the, the big move today w was the break above the 50-day simple moving average currently at 54. That's this green line. So the close above that level and the top of the channel, the top of the channel is this descending red resistance line. So the close above both those levels and the, the closing price on August 22nd, those are all signals that, that WAC wants to head higher. So to stay bullish, it needs to stay above these three levels. So 55 to 60, uh, 60, uh, uh, what, what's this close here? 61. Th th this is the huge level to turn into support. If it can stay above those those, those levels, then our next target's going to be the 100-day simple moving average at 85. Uh, WAC uh, wa was up after hours trading. Notice how there's no upper wick on the candle. The bulls were in c control into the close. Um, you know they did get some uh, uh, delisting notice. Um, they, they do plan on uh, re responding to that. Um, they do need to get their share price back above a dollar and get their uh, minimum uh, 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 require, uh, uh, value requirements up. Uh, I believe up to 50 million. It's well below that right now. So they've got some work to do. They need to get this back above a dollar. When, when it, with this type of situation, you need to watch out for the reverse split or for uh, bad news after hours, uh, just things to keep in mind. But uh, going forward, if, if the candles are forming above the 50-day simple moving average, it will be in play. If it drops back below, that's going to be a red flag that it's not ready to go. At, at, we've been watching this play for several days, watching it uh, the, the chart build and, and uh, set up. And so it finally broke resistance today. So this should be the signal it wants to push higher. You know, it, it failed to do so uh, in the past um, when it broke above resistance. So we'll see if um, that trend continues or, or if it can get a multi-day run going. Okay, let's look at um, J-O-N-E. Okay, this has been on one heck of a run. Congrats, everybody. Uh, we caught this at the start of the run last week. I believe it's been up for like seven days in a row. So, yeah, since Monday of last week, we've been on this play. Now it's at 74 on RSI. You've got Fasto up here at 92. Uh, you know, you've got the big breakout on uh, Plus DI again. Uh, so, so today, the, the red flag on the chart was the gap that was created between high of day yesterday and low of day today. A drop down to 145 would fill the gap so keep that in mind if there is a pullback uh, there's a small gap between these two candles and so the gap fill becomes the target the same in penny land is gap to get filled so going forward this gold line here is the key level to turn into support it was a very bullish close above the 100 day simple moving average at 158 um, there's some uh, rumors uh, buyout rumors i haven't seen any uh, press releases or anything myself but yeah we've been on this place since down here um, on, on uh, it, it was trading uh, right around a dollar five when we were on it 
So, uh, yeah, this has been a really huge move. We caught it on day one down here. It was heating up, and then it's just been up every day. Uh, what, the, the, the big thing is that it closed above the 50-day simple moving average last week at 125, and it's just kept heading higher. You know, it, it, if it keeps pushing higher at this rate, the 200-day the, the simple moving average at 254 is the big top target. Um, you can see here where the uh, high close is near that level around 240. So, yeah, so, so uh, if it drops back below, the 100-day simple moving average at 158. Look for a gap fill. And then down here, the EMA4 and the gap fill down around 145 becomes the potential reload target. If it drops below the gap fill target, then you look for uh, a possible 50-day uh, simple moving average support test down at 126. Okay, let's look at J-O-N-E here on the 15-minute uh, -E uh, chart. So as you can see here, it's been in this very steady uptrend, uh, s similar to CAPR. You know the candles have been uh, staying, you know, uh, above the the middle Bollinger band. You know, it dropped below, but it got back above here. You know, it dropped below into the close, but then it got back above, and then so it, here we go again. It, it's right back down at the middle Bollinger band. It needs to hold 164. If it drops below 164, you could see a drop down to the 50 simple moving average at 153. Notice how that was tested on the on the 17th and 18th. So that's the big support level. That is a big drop between those two levels. That's about a 10% drop. So, uh, you know, traders do not like to hold for that. Um, if it drops below the 50 simple moving average, then that's a signal that the chart is breaking down. And, and, and then you could see a drop down to the 100 simple moving average. If you look to the upside, the, this high close is the big level to break. Okay, so that's like at about uh, 171 and a half or so. So it's about right there, 171. And so that's going to be the big resistance level to break. If the share price breaks above 171, that's going to signal more upside potential. It did form this uh, channel intraday. And so the, uh, you Know, this 163 164 levels the big level to hold if you see a break below that's a signal the chart is breaking down okay let's take a look at IGC uh, this is a marijuana sector play that is heating up today it, it uh, is 62 on RSI, so it's in the bull zone with room to run. It is uh, uh, above 80 on FASTO. Every time it gets above 80, it tends to pull back, so keep that in mind. Um, it has a hard time staying above 80. Uh, it, so so the big development today is the move above the 50 and 200-day simple moving averages. Okay, so that's these two lines right here, the red and the green line, basically at 37 cents. And then, and then it closed right at the 300-day simple moving average and the 100-day simple moving average at 39 and 394 so it, what we want to see now is we want to see a close above the 100 day simple moving average and that level to turn into support that would signal more upside potential that would make this uh, 44 level as the next target then you've got 46 if you can get through 46 then you could be talking to run back up into the 50s uh, the, the the big thing on this chart is it notice how back in july it closed above the gold line the 100 day simple moving average but it couldn't hold that level and that pulled back and so you know it, it it's got to be able to stay above that level to head higher. So that's going to be the crucial level. It's no uh, coincidence that it stalled out at that level today. So if you do see a break above it and it turns into support, that's going to be a bullish change in trend, and that's going to be what the bulls are exactly looking for for uh, more upside potential. Yeah, I noticed that the green dots flip below the candles. Okay, so it broke the PSAR level. That's a signal the chart's heating up. You know, there were recent uh, bull crosses on uh, MACD, so that those are, that's another signal that the uh, possible new up trend is starting and then you've got the uh, or uptrend has started with the uh, middle Bollinger Band turning into support and now it's breaking out higher and then you've got the volume spike today this has had really low volume so it was good to see some volume come back and, and, and yeah so yeah with our site 62 there's still room to run it just has to close above the 100 day simple moving average to head higher okay here's a stock to keep an eye on CYTR okay it's been beaten up um, it, it's uh, we'll, we'll just look down here at the chart and uh, you'll see that it's trying to uh, form a double bottom down here. So it, it's retraced down to this May uh, uh, May low down here in May. It, it bottomed out around 41 or so. 
41, 42, and then uh, it's it held that level and it bounced. And then today there was a close above this pink line, which is EMA four currently at 44. So it is uh, it is in play right now for for our bounce play strategy. And so as long as it stays above EMA four, it's still in play for the bounce. So we do have different strategies depending on what type of play it is. And so uh, for this stock, in order to head higher, it's got to get above EMA eight at uh, 0 0.4 two that that line line if it can do that then the big levels the uh, EMA 13 at 47 notice how it hit that level on the last bounce and it failed to break so if you see a break above EMA 13 that's going to be super bullish and then you could possibly see this thing reversing okay so it's got a lot of moving averages lined up it has to get back above the middle Bollinger Band basically at 50 cents to get a new uptrend going if it drops back below EMA 4 it will no longer be in play keep in mind this bounce is on very very light volume if you look at PSAR here notice Notice that you know the, the the dots flipped above the candles when the middle Bollinger Band support level broke. Okay, and that signaled the big the big pullback. So notice how the dots here, they're, they're dots, and then as it pulled back, the dots caught up to the candles. And then when the candles hit the PSAR level, they flipped above the dots. That, that, that signals downside risk. Look how far away the dots were from the candles when it started. When the new this is when the downturn started. Now look at the dots. The PSAR level is at 454, so it is just above the candle. When the share price breaks that PSAR level, what's going to happen? The dots are going to flip below the candles again, like, like right here, and that's going to signal upside potential and possible start of a new uptrend. So if you look at, at each of these pops, um, there, there were uh, PSAR uh, flips, uh, 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 a, P a PSAR flip happened uh, prior to the bounce or when the bounce started. So so keep that in mind. So we've got a PSAR setting up for a flip. We've got a MACD down here starting a bull cross on the 8, 13, and 5. So you can see the MACD histogram turning positive. And then the big thing is watch the 12, 26, and 9. If you see this black line cross this uh, blue purple line to the upside, then that is going to be the big signal that a new uptrend is starting. And so, yeah, the ch chart is heating up, but it has to stay above EMA4 to be in play. And then the finish up here, let's look at ALRT. I'm not sure if you guys caught this or not today. Um, it was the huge winner. It, it closed up over 10,000% on the day. Almost, I think, 11, I think it was like 11,000% gainer on the day. So huge, huge winner. Um, you know, uh, it, they had some uh, news out. Um, it, it, the news seemed pretty frothy to me. This seems like a pump and dump. Um, it looks like 20 is the next target. Uh, yeah, because these guys are uh, delinquent and they have a stop sign on OTC markets so be very careful if you are trading this our strategy is always to exit end of day you do not want to be holding the stock like this overnight that is just too risky especially after a 10,000% 10, gain but it could get running again tomorrow and if it does then this 20 zone is going to be the big target okay uh, yeah so huge move for ALRT -A it's not every day that a stock uh, runs 11,000% in the day yeah so if you like uh, OTC stocks um come join our chat because uh we we, we are all over all the uh, best otc plays every day okay thank you very much check us out at mychartcoach.com and our youtube channel at mychartcoach.com for more charts and technical analysis